I just got to my room here in Billings, Montana, got all checked in. We've got today off and that's gonna be nice because we're right in the middle of downtown Billings. There's lots of great restaurants and spots nearby. And then the theater that we are playing tomorrow is two blocks away. So we should just be able to hang out down here, relax today, um, take it easy in the morning and then uh, go for an early sound check tomorrow afternoon. So I'll give you guys a look around the room if you want pretty standard fare. Not sure if you guys can see that stuff over there. I'm in like a corner room. So I've got a couch here by the window. It's a great hotel. It involves two trees. Cookie. Today is show day and we've kind of had a relaxed morning. We all met in the lobby and got some breakfast this morning. And then I've been just kind of walking around downtown Billings. Um, for a little bit, we have a lobby call today at 2.15. We're gonna go over to the venue. It's a couple blocks away and um, start getting set up for the show tonight. Uh, as I was walking around Billings, you know, lots of different coffee shops and different cool stuff around town. Um, but I also found this amazing antique store that had just like endless rooms of stuff. Just, you think you've been in all the rooms and then you find a whole nother area that you haven't even been to. Lots of really cool stuff, um, antiques and toys and records and um, you know knickknacks, all that kind of stuff. So I always get uh, a lot of enjoyment in finding places like that and kind of walking around and exploring. A lot of times when I'm in different cities, that's kind of my favorite thing to do is just walk around and see what I can find in the area. Sometimes you don't find anything and other times you find a lot of cool spots and really get a feel for the town. So I've, I've enjoyed doing that today in Billings. I'm gonna head back to the hotel, make sure I got my stuff together, and then head over to the venue. We just got done with sound check a little bit ago. Um, I've got a deluxe reverb for backline. There were actually two that were provided. You'll see that a lot of times where you have, you know, a backline amp and then a backup amp. And I plugged into the first one that was set up, you know, in front and it sounded okay, but something felt a little off to me about it. And so I plugged into the second one and I actually like that one better. So I swapped them out, but um, it's kind of cool. You can kind of see which one sounds better even though they're supposed to be the same they did sound a little different they have the same speakers in them they both have uh, jensen speakers which i think are stock in the new uh you know deluxe reverb reissues but um it's sounding pretty good i'm not a huge fan of those jensen speakers um, they have this kind of high-end brightness to them that i don't love um, you know with overdrive pedals and that kind of thing, but um, you know, it sounded pretty good We've got a few hours until showtime and we're just hanging out um, We can go check out downstairs, which is like where the green room and dressing rooms all all are and uh, you guys can See what that's like Here's the spread This is even good it has About time, yeah I'll just have bread for the side of the chips. So Bisky, what is what is this stuff right here? It's like fake deli meat. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't love that processed stuff. I'd rather just eat the rest of it. Yeah, that one was like all vegan tray and then yeah. you've got the meat and cheese over there. Oh the Italians stealing the olives. And then over here in the olives. fridge we've got Beverages, water, beers, juice, wine, whatever your heart desires. Stage is up these stairs and then down the hallway here, we've got dressing rooms. There's one in there. Some guitars in there. Basically, I have a couple of these rooms. There's another one over here, and then there's some other rooms down there too. Bathroom and other smaller dressing rooms, but plenty of space for everybody to have their own spot. Playing these big theaters like this are really nice because there's tons of space, and yeah, you always get treated really nice. Do you have that calendar all? 
Like, do you have access to it? Cop stuff? Hopefully these vlogs are giving you some insight in what it's like to be a traveling musician and a full-time musician like myself. I definitely have really enjoyed making them and um, really am just glad to be out traveling and playing again. If you haven't done so already, definitely hit that subscribe button. I will be doing some other videos and then probably more vlogs to come in the upcoming weeks. So be on the lookout for those. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time, I'll see you out there.